Everybody in Fortnite has a different playstyle, but did you know that depending on your playstyle, the way you go about obtaining loot should be drastically different? What's going on guys? Your motivation guy is here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the best loot paths that are going to help bring your game to the next level. Bunch of crunch on me. Let's get this going. When trying to decide a loot path, like the first question that you have to ask yourself is, are you a good fighter? Now, I know what all of you guys are already thinking. Yes, of course, I'm a good fighter, but there is a lot more to the question than that. Like one important thing to remember when deciding on a loot path is that you're not going to be fighting with optimal loot like you would be in creative or during other parts of the game. And so you're often going to have less than desirable loot since you're gonna be fighting early on in the game while most likely being in the process of looting. So I'm gonna ask you again, are you a good fighter? In order to answer this question, you have to consider a variety of things, all right? For now, we want you to think about two main things first. First, okay, what type of fighter are you? Are you the type of player that likes to close the distance between you and your opponent extremely quickly, you know, get into their box and just beat them with the stellar aim and quick mechanics? Or are you the type of player to just only take it, you know, a fight when you're at an advantage? Meaning, you know, you might hang back, you know, you might wait for a little bit and open the fight with some AR tags before pushing. Essentially, only taking fights when you are at a significant health advantage, right? These are two of a wide variety of play styles that we're going to see all across Fortnite, but are very important when deciding your loot path. So if you're one of the players that tends to play you know, very aggressive, you may elect to drop at a PY or at a location that is somewhat contested. And that way, you're going to be in close contact with your opponents early on in the game, thus suiting your aggressive play style. Or if you play like play style number two, more passive, you will most likely want to choose a loot path that is outside of a contested spot like a POI. Therefore, making it easier for you just to keep distance between you and your opponents. So it's just a good rule of thumb to assume that if you like to play aggressive, fast, and take close shotgun fights regardless of if you have, you know, good health advantage or not, you're going to want to land at a contested POI to rack up points early because that would be playing to your strengths. On the other hand, okay, so if you if you have a playstyle that aligns more with the passive playstyle we discussed, okay, it's just much more beneficial for you to just to try and avoid early game confrontation at all costs. But before we go into this any further, okay, we want to ask you guys a question. Do you prefer to be contested or uncontested off drop? Let us know in the comments below. All right, now let's help you find the perfect loot path here we go you guys ready the next thing that you need to ask yourself when deciding on a loot path is that if you want or you know you tend to fight in the middle of the game the question is very important for a large variety of reasons first of all like if you are somebody that doesn't fight mid-game whatsoever or avoids confrontation mid-game at all costs you most likely want to have an uncontested loot path that is outside of a poi as you would be giving yourselves ton of time to loot by not fighting mid-game on the other hand okay if you're one of those people that likes to fight mid-game you're going to need to find a loot path where you can be kitted up early on in the game and that way if you decide to take a fight early on in the mid-game you have adequate loot at your disposal to find that opponent so going into more depth okay if you were somebody that likes to fight mid game you might elect to hold more healing items in your inventory when you are fighting more often you're going to be taking more damage and you're going to need more healing capability in your inventory similarly you are most likely going to be able to pick up some rotational items off of your opponents after eliminating them so that it's just not something that is essential for you to carry throughout the mid game on the other side of the spectrum okay if you're one of those players that tends to not fight mid game whatsoever or just works to avoid mid-game confrontation you definitely want to carry movement out of spawn the reason for this is because you won't have an opportunity to grab movement from an eliminated opponent due to not fighting by carrying extra movement you allow yourself not to only you know hard disengage from any opponent that is looking to fight you during the mid game but you're not going to have to worry about finding movement later on in the game not to mention when you aren't fighting mid game you're not going to need substantial heals so the next thing that you need to decide when picking a loot path is whether you're looking to land at a POI or an independent chest loot path. So throughout Fortnite history, we have seen that players had had success while landing at both POIs and independent chest loot paths. This is truly on a player to player basis to decide and is based on your own self-reflection. In some, I mean, you need to decide for yourself 
you know, whether you would prefer a POI or independent loop path. With that being said, here are some advantages and disadvantages to taking both the POI route and independent chess route. Here we go. First for POI eyes, if you were, you know, wanting to land in a POI, there are a handful of things that you need to take into consideration. The first thing you need to think about is how comfortable you are with being contested at that specific POI. So generally speaking, POIs are just going to be significantly more contested than independent chess loop paths, meaning there are very high probabilities that, you know, you're going to be forced to fight a player early on. This is by far the biggest disadvantage to choosing a POI. Anytime you're forced to fight early on in the game, that fight is generally filled with a lot of RNG because both parties don't have adequate loot, right? On the other side of the things, all right, one major advantage of choosing a POI is that they typically have a lot more chess spawns and therefore more loot than independent chess loot paths. So you inevitably have to decide if you're willing to trade potential shots having really good loot for potentially being heavily contested. Independent chess loot paths are quite the opposite, right? Like if you would like to choose an independent chess loot path, there is a very high probability that you're gonna be uncontested meaning that you have a lot of loot around you to yourself and would not most likely have to fight somebody during the early game. So with that being said, guys, like if you are contested with an independent chess loot path, there is a good chance that you're gonna be left with very little loot if you elect to not fight them. The other disadvantage to an independent chess path is the fact that you'll most likely not even have many chests or floor loot spawns as, as you would as a POI. So this means there's a lot more RNG involved when it comes to making sure that you have good enough loot going into the mid and late game. So regardless of what option you guys choose or you know maybe even an option somewhere in between those two, there is still one very important thing to consider. That is, there's not a 100% chess spawn rate this season. That means if you're choosing an independent chess league pad, there is just a very good chance that you might get significantly less loot than you originally anticipated. And likewise, this is the same for a POI if you're electing to land at a certain building or house. Overall, guys, which one of these strategies you elect to use, you must practice. The final thing to consider when picking a loot path that directly plays into the other three topics we discussed is how comfortable are you being contested? As we discussed in our recent RNG video, the majority of the RNG, you know, within Fortnite comes in the early game, meaning that fights are significantly unbalanced and random. The reason this is important when deciding a loot path is because the biggest thing that you have to consider when making this decision is how comfortable you are with players landing directly around you. And generally speaking, you have a chance of getting significantly better loot at POIs which are historically more contested. But if you were one of those people that is not comfortable fighting early game despite having a chance to get potentially really good loot, it might not be worth the hassle for you. Overall, when you're trying to decide a loot path, you need to do a lot of self-reflection and really decide how your play style fits into early game play as well. How much loot you're comfortable walking away with out of spawn. Now for a quick recap, bunch of crunch army, hope you guys are still here. Here we go. First, are you a good fighter? <laughs> Meaning, are you comfortable fighting in the early game with less than desirable loot? Second, do you plan to tend to fight mid game? Based on how you play mid game, you're gonna need to adjust your loot strategy accordingly. Thirdly, do you prefer to land at a POI or would you rather have an independent chess loot path? You should decide this based on how comfortable you are with being contested. And finally, is being uncontested a priority to you? This is just something that you gotta take time to really decide for yourself, all right? Whatever you decide, you gotta practice it. And remember guys, practice is everything. You know, to grind, to be the best at what you do, you gotta practice. And so I encourage you guys, man, to keep going, to keep grinding, to keep practicing, to try to get better. Overall, early game loot paths are one of the hardest parts of any Fortnite game. But I'm sure that if you take this into consideration, all the things that we talked about today, you're gonna be able to come up with a master loot path sooner rather than later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching again. I'm your motivation guy, Keith Allen. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon.